crayons. I just have a pile of letters over here. Hey, Sarah, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of the other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the decorations for Hanukkah and Sukkot and the entire Nile River for your Haggadah for Pesach. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Not over. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for great dragons and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the line. If you don't start coloring inside the line soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Still not over. Boys and girls, we're going to do a lot of clapping at the end, all the way at the end. Dear Sarah, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Cran. It's not fair that brown gets all the teddies and all the ponies and all the puppies. Well, I only get things like turkey dinners if I'm lucky and wheat. Let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about drawing wheat? Your beige friend, beige friend. <laughs> Sarah, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, and your hippos, and your humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those big things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks. Pebbles? How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Hi, Sarah. I hate being used to draw the outlines of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Sarah, as Green Crayon, I'm writing to you for two reasons. One is to say that I love my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem in which to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write to write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the color of the sun. And please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, green crayon. <laughs> I am the color of the sun too. 
Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow corn. <laughs> I see yellow crayon has already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mrs. Tattletail that she is not the color of the sun? I would, but we are no longer speaking. You we both know that I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Zookeeper pages in your date at the zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> Your pal and the real color of the sun. <laughs> Dear Sarah, it has been so great being your favorite color this past year and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans and lakes, rivers and raindrops, rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is I am so short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break! Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. <laughs> Listen here, kids. You have not used me once this past year. It's because you think I'm an ugly color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I say thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they can use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. It's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm cold and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. It is snowing out there and I have no coat. How would you like to go to school without a coat or even a jacket? I need some clothes. Help your frozen friend, Peach Crayon. I see that each color has a purpose. No crayon or color is more important than the other. But if they're all used together, it'll look amazing. <laughs> <laughs>